We begin with the story of a crime victim taking matters into his own hands to protect his family. It all started around 1030 when four teens walked up to a home on Remington Springs Drive and Desert Marigold Drive and pulled a gun on a man in his garage. But the man they targeted was armed and ready. Channel 2's Brandon Walker spoke with that homeowner tonight and joins us with this amazing story. Brandon? Yes, Sarah, Alexander Borrego is a retired Marine, but he says he was ready to handle the situation. That doesn't mean that it sits easily with him. The outcome that is one of those four teens being shot. I was sitting in the chair. I had my phone. Alexander Borrego uh, says he didn't have a chance to look up before he says he was cornered. Four males, teens, then, it um, turns out. One came alongside through here. Um, and then next thing I know, I had a gun to the back of my head. A neighbor surveillance camera recorded the four Friday night before they ambushed Borrego, who happened to be sitting outside his home. They told me to get up. Um, so I stood up. Um, my garage door was open. Um, so my main concern was my family at that point. His wife and children who were inside the house. Borrego says the teens grabbed him, pulled him, but little did they know. I had my pistol in. Um, in the front pouch of my hoodie. From there, Borrego says he did what he had to do. As soon as I got my hand on my pistol, I uh, I turned towards the guy that had the gun in the back of my head, and I immediately moved the pistol away from my head as I began firing at at the those guys. If Borrego seems pensive, reflective, he is because of what happened next. I shot one in the chest and and then in the um, in the neck. He survived. The same surveillance video that recorded their approach captured their sprint. The teen shot ran to authorities say his mother rushed him to the hospital. I don't have hate for them. The thought of what happened sits heavily on Borrego. He had to protect his own. It's sad, but you know, hey, I had my pistol on me and you know, thank God for that. And this neighborhood is patrolled 24 seven. I happened to speak to the chief security guard here and he tells me that he worked to track down those four teens. As for the one who was shot at last check, he was in serious condition at the hospital. We are live tonight in Northeast Harris County. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. Brandon, thank you, sir.